Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm planning for the month ahead as well as our upcoming travel plans. I haven't done a plan with me using my Samsung tablet for some time so I'm very excited to be finally making this video. I also have a little bit of life updates and penly chat to share with you guys. The first thing I did was to re-import my sticker packs back into Penly app. That's what I'm using for digital planning on my Samsung tablet. I accidentally uninstalled the app and now I don't have any stickers in here, but it didn't take me too long to bulk import everything back in. Today I'm using the undated planners that come with Penly app and I'll show you how I date the pages quickly. If you have filled in the dates for a previous month, you can just copy and paste the dates over and move them around to the correct places for the new month. I find that a lot quicker than writing out the dates by hand. I came across this overlay sticker in the freebies vault and I don't think I've used it before so I thought I'd try it out. I'm hoping that in future it will be possible to lock an object from moving. I know that some of you are also wanting this feature and I believe it is something that Kevin is looking into. Because I'm adding stickers on top of the overlay sticker it would be really useful to lock that from being accidentally moved. One of my goals this year is to do some traveling and Dan and I are currently planning a move out of the UK and out of my parents' house. I wrote down on this sticky note some stuff that we need to get done, like our visa application, and we also need to figure out how we're going to travel and continue to work on happy downloads. Some days I feel like, wouldn't it be amazing if we could just shut shop and fully travel, but I am so proud of everything we've achieved to date, and I genuinely love making planners and stickers, so I think the answer is to try and find a balance and a way for my different goals to coexist. I looked for an inspirational quote for my page and I found this one that I really like because I read it and felt encouraged to be brave and live the kind of life that I want. It wasn't the right colour for my page though, so I used this free app called Ibis Paint X to change it to what I wanted. Then I saved the image and used a split screen to drag and drop it onto my planner. I added a photo frame sticker over the top and titled it my quote of the month using the handwriting to text feature. Recently, we've been trying to get a better work-life balance and we have been looking for somebody to help us with happy downloads work. For ages, I felt like the answer was that I just needed to be more efficient and get more done, but I've come to accept that this is just how much I'm able to do in a day and I think it's important to respect your own limits. In a previous video, I talked about my struggle with comparison to other people and feeling bad that I don't get as much done as them and I was so touched by all the encouraging and supportive comments I received on that video. I realised that we all grow at our own pace and I believe that there's abundance and opportunity for everybody and also life is just too short for comparing yourself to others and feeling unhappy. I'm looking forward to showing somebody the ropes and I created a separate page to list out some tasks I think I might be able to delegate. So yeah, I'm really hopeful that this will help us achieve a better work-life balance and this person will also be able to help Kevin on bug testing for Penly. As you guys might know, my brother Kevin created this app all by himself and having the extra help would make it a lot easier for him to focus on developing new features. I feel like Penly has so much potential as there's lots of improvements both big and small that could be made. Like recently, Kevin added this feature that was suggested by the Penley community where the highlighter now automatically goes behind the handwriting. By the way, I am so grateful for the support you guys have shown Penley. Back in 2018, I said to Kevin that Android users are missing a good digital planning app and then he started working on it and it turned out to be so much work to develop the first release. I was actually really nervous that I would be the only Penly user like ever, so I'm really happy that so many of you also like the app. As for our travel plans, we will be heading out to Dubai at the end of March and then I'm hoping to move on to Asia. I wanted to crop this photo and at the moment Penly doesn't have a freehand crop tool, so I found this free app called Cut Paste Photo where you can crop and save images and then I just drag and dropped it onto my page. It did take me quite a few tries to get a nicely cropped shape and I would love to find an app that gives you predefined shapes like a cookie cutter. Here's what the whole page looks like so far. I kept it pretty simple this month but I like how it turned out. Next, I used one of the number dividers in my planner to create a section dedicated to our travel plans. I always get asked where I get my fonts from and I use the website DaFont to download free fonts. If you need a tutorial on how to install custom fonts into Penly, check out the short video tutorials I made for the Penly YouTube channel. Here I created a page for Dubai and to decorate the page I googled some photos of the city and then I used a free app called Background Eraser to remove the background. 
I copied the image to the other side of the page as well and then I cropped it slightly at the bottom so that it doesn't cover up the rings. This page is going to be like a dashboard that links to various other pages so I use the shapes tool to draw these coloured boxes which I will turn into hyperlinked buttons. I wanted to make them all the same size and that's why I'm drawing them on top of each other and then rearranging them. I do also have a short video on how to use the Penly Shapes tool if you need a tutorial. I also copied the buttons to the other side and I rotated the whole group just so the colours are ordered differently. We have a ton of stuff to do before we can head out so I wanted to be super organised and have a page for everything that we need to sort out. We plan to stay in each place we visit for a while just because of having to work. We don't want to pack in too much and end up feeling stressed out. I decorated the buttons with some stickers and I noticed that these crop handles are weirdly gigantic so I have fed that back to Kevin. There is a Penley Facebook group where you can suggest new features and I'll put the link to that in the description. I'm hoping that once we get some help I will have more time to draw stickers again. I know I haven't created anything new for ages which is a shame because it's actually my favourite thing to do. I love taking my time making stickers and it just didn't feel right to rush out a new sticker pack for the sake of it. I feel like I haven't been very productive lately but mentally I'm currently in a great place from having all this downtime. This floral sticker is also from the freebies vault and I added it to the top of the page for decoration. Then I tap the send object back button so that the sticker goes behind the title. I grouped each set of buttons and this will make it easier for me to hyperlink them and this means I can also move them around as one object. Once you've grouped objects together, you can ungroup them again. To make my packing and shopping list, I duplicated the to-do list template in my planner and I hyperlinked my dashboard buttons to go to these pages. Then I used a white pen to cover up the page title and I wrote my own title using the text tool. So one page is for my packing list and the other one is for my shopping list. To make it easier for me to jump back to the dashboard page, I also used the shapes tool again to create another hyperlinked button and I can copy and paste this onto other pages. Once you have hyperlinked all your pages to each other, it just makes navigation so much easier because you can quickly jump between the pages. Packing is going to be really challenging because I have a lot of desk accessories that I use in my videos and I want to bring them with me. So unfortunately, I'm probably going to end up with a suitcase of keyboards and tablets and hardly any clothes, which is kind of ridiculous. I debated on leaving all that stuff behind because I personally wouldn't miss any of it, but I know that a lot of my viewers on Instagram and TikTok particularly like the whole desk aesthetic, so I wasn't sure if you guys would still want to watch my videos if I switched to a plain desk setup. I'm looking forward to decluttering my belongings and hopefully donating most of it to charity. I love the idea of starting afresh with my possessions and being more mindful with what I buy. I also created a page for tracking our expenses because traveling is going to be expensive and we need to stick to our budget. Here I used a color highlighter pen to draw some lines to create this expenses table and I love that in digital planning you can easily create your own layouts and templates. For my finances I use Excel if I have a lot of data but otherwise I prefer to keep everything in one place in my digital planner. We want to be mindful with our spending, but at the same time, I feel like we have worked so hard these past couple of years. What is the point of it all if we don't get to have fun and enjoy everything that we've built? Anyways, that is what my travel section looks like so far, and I will add to this as I do more planning. That's all for this video. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. Check out my other videos in the meantime, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.